What's up guys? <clears throat> Greg and Stacy here with Keizu Keto. So, I'm kind of doing a, a double video in this one. We got yeah, some keto cookbooks that we've been uh, asked to do a review on, what our favorites are, etc. So that's coming up. Also, last minute, we kind of had to cancel our live. My uh, grandfather of 91 years had, had a little bit of an incident. He's okay, but he's being kept for observation. So Stacy and I whisked to the hospital to, uh, to see him, and then tomorrow we're gonna end up going back. So, mm -hmm. so lives canceled. Sorry, but hopefully this will reach you guys around the same time. Um, Stacy and I are also enjoying a late dinner, um, and Stacy was kind enough to make me uh, a sandwich with her macadamia nut bread. I wasn't worthy enough <clears throat> to have the chicken because there's only enough for one sandwich left after she had hers. Mm -hmm. So I was forced to eat the turkey. I still let you have my cheese. This is actually gonna be the video that you guys can win 30 <clears throat> bucks in for our mm -hmm. 300 subscriber giveaway. Yep. So stay tuned to the end of the video and Stacy will tell you how to do, enter to win on that. Yes. Um, also wanted to point out that I am doing my almost daily um uh collagen collagen powder yes the collagen powder uh with i've been using almond milk because i went through the coconut milk really fast and we've had almond milk in the cupboard for a while so I'm trying to go through that now <clears throat> and i don't like it as much with the almond milk as i do with the coconut milk which is surprising because i'm not a fan of coconut it's true um but yeah, so doing that and then earlier today we didn't we don't do a lot we barely ever do any day of eating videos and we've decided we need to start doing that more often. Well see the problem is is that she finds what she's eating extremely boring and she doesn't think you guys would be interested in it. And I told her that you guys are definitely interested in, in what she's eating. And it's also gonna challenge us to be a little bit more risque. Creative with our food. Creative. Yeah, I mean, yeah. A little bit. I mean, you already know she eats the same sandwich every day. Now she's eating it for a weekend dinner. So it's pretty boring. But what it does do is it gives you guys some pretty good ideas. Um, I mean, you find what you like, you keep it easy, you keep it simple, you keep it easy, and it keeps you keto. Is that the reason why I don't feel the need to track my macros? Because I eat the same thing. The other half of Almost. the reason is because she doesn't care, care what the scale says. Whatever. Um. <laughs> So yeah, for for lunch today, brunch, breakfast, mm -hmm. lunch, because we still do the, well, I didn't eat breakfast. I didn't eat lunch until almost two o'clock because mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I was waiting to find out what was going on with his grandpa and whether or not we'd have to leave right away. Um, so I just made some scrambled eggs, also very boring, Yep. with some cheese. I had a chorizo. Chorizo, chorizo. Chorizo. I can't help it. And I have by. I'm sure something math will come. By water. Can... Is it is it by or is it bow? Oh it oh bi. oh. So you don't know. I decided oh. on by. Oh okay, you decided. So now that's what it is. Until somebody tells me it's something different. All right, B A I. Right, that's the one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I had a bit by water and. Um, uh, chorizo scrambled eggs with some cheese. It was good. It was delicious. It's a little different than normal. I, I, mean, I have a tendency, I usually egg based, but it, it changes a little bit. So anyway, onto these cookbooks. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> so I'm going to turn these around so you guys can kind of see them a little bit. And so some of these, in all honesty, we haven't even gone through yet. Uh, Stacy went completely bananas on a couple of these, uh, but they're a little bit of a niche. Uh, so I think this one and this one are probably the ones we've used the most and have found probably some really great recipes. You can see mm -hmm. the different tabs. Stacy's really went crazy with this one, all these different things. So um, there's some really good recipes um, for Maria. And also, uh, Kydra uh, has a lot of good. Kendra. Kendra, sorry, Kendra. No, and Kendra has some really good um, 
sort of miscellaneous things that sort of help keep you keto, like like ranch dressing, mm -hmm. uh, Thousand Island dressing. Uh, she has some desserts. There's some chocolate chip cookie dough bites. Uh, so, I mean, there's a lot of miscellaneous things in here that are uh, very good. Uh, they also have uh, lots of uh, dinner ideas in here. Uh, like Stacy mentioned, you know, I think at one point, the baked avocado fries those that, we've, good. that we've made. Um, and those are really good. She really, it's actually, I think, one of the things that got her actually eating avocados is by having them like this first. Mm -hmm. So, uh, follow the recipe as is. We've kind of tweaked it a little bit now, but... Uh, I think I actually made these bacon jalapeno poppers, um, yep. which, I, to be honest with you, I've made these before out on the grill. Like they're uh, they're a little different, but they're generally the similar. Uh, they have bloody Mary deviled eggs, uh, some more creamy pesto devil eggs, which I think Stacy really wants to try these Cre creamy avocado deviled eggs. Mm -hmm. She wants to try those, and there's no sticker thingy here, so she probably hasn't seen it. They also have mozzarella sticks. So one of the cool things that she has is uh, in here um, is that she has like a keto friendly savory bread mix, which is kind of mixed up with, with nuts and stuff. And then there's also a pork rind thing. So um, like this one's talking about mozzarella sticks. So overall, I think either one of these books uh, can be a huge staple for, for you. Uh, she. One of the things that's really cool about it is um, she realizes that people have aversions to certain types of food like nuts. So she'll try to create a pizza recipe that doesn't use any nut flour or stuff like that. So um, yeah, so I'd say probably, like I said, these are the top two. Um, and we probably made more recipes, I think, out of <clears throat> this one, right? Probably. But um, this one well, gets more daily use. You've used that one a lot for the like the dressings and the, the condiments sauces. and stuff. Yeah, like a base for what we and, get started on. Yeah, and like the breadings and stuff like that. Um, we've a lot of times I think we will do a recipe as the books state. Yep. And then we'll change it the next time to be something more like what we want to do. Yep. But I think we've made some things out of this one. This is another Maria Emmerich. Because um, we have a few of hers and we have a few of Kendra's. Mm -hmm. This is another one. That, as happy as I was to get this book, I have not made anything out of it yet. Because I had said the first three months I was not going to cheat at all. And I didn't. But um, there's a only, lot of... You've only cheated, I think, twice but alcohol, right? Well, I had the one champagne, and then I had another one the next week. Right. And then yesterday, <clears throat> yesterday after work, um, we actually got to leave work at 4 o'clock um, for Memorial Day weekend. It's kind of nice that they do that. Um, and everybody still gets paid until 5. <clears throat> and a co-worker, as soon as we found out we were doing that, a co-worker of mine, one of my friends, asked if I wanted to go after work and get a drink. So I said, sure, we'll do that, because... I'm going out next Friday as well with a soon-to-be ex-co-worker <laughs> um, for kind of like a last hurrah, I guess, with her. Um, and I was trying to figure out what can I get at the bar. And, you know, because I used to tend toward like the sugary drinks, the, the mixed, mixed drinks. I'm not a beer drinker. <clears throat> mixed drinks and um, ciders. Um, so I was trying to figure out and I saw something on Instagram where they took, uh, they got like Tito vodka and I think some Did like... Did you say Keto vodka? Tito. Oh, okay. Um, and some like seltzer water or club soda. I almost said club soda. <laughs> Wait, club soda is... I'm thinking of club soda that used to be downtown. <laughs> club soda really is a thing. You sure you're not drinking now? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, but they got that and they squirted some of that Mio stuff in it and i was like oh that's a really good idea so i was like i thought i'll go get some before then but then yesterday when she asked me if i wanted to go for a drink i was like yeah i think i have an extra zip fizz in my bag i could totally put like half a zip fizz in there and mix it up and then of course we get there and i didn't have it <clears throat> like i thought so i ended up getting um i'll throw a picture of it up but i ended up getting it's a hard seltzer called white claw and it was 100 calories for, I think it might have been like a 12 or 14 ounce can. I can't remember which. Maybe not even that much, honestly. Um, 
and it was uh, only two net carbs. Of course, the two the two grams of sugar were actual sugar, but it was a uh, raspberry, which Greg wouldn't like. Yuck. <clears throat> but they did say that he said that they usually have, or they also had lime and grapefruit, which I figured you would like. Yes, I would. So I'm thinking that's something we might buy in the future. Yeah, interesting. But anyway, I do want so to make some things out of this. It didn't say. I don't really know what it is, honestly. I was uh, reading the no, label. No, it was I, intensely sugarified. I'm assuming how do you, sugar, How do you know it has two grams of sugar? Asking for a Because friend. I read the label. Oh. They gave me the can. I read the label. Oh. See, now the details are starting. She's really good about holding back details. <sighs> so anyway, I am going to be better prepared next week. As long as I order it with seltzer water or whatever carbonate. I, I can't think of the other type, but not necessarily club soda because that's not... We can order sparkling water, can okay? I don't know. Anyway, yeah. put water in it. Of some sort. Water, vodka, water, tequila, watered right. down alcohol, whatever it is. Right. Throw in the Zip Fizz. Although I think that would probably be better with vodka. I think so. Then, yeah. Be interesting. <clears throat> Unless I took an Although orange one. Although the problem with the Zip Fizz is it has a lot of B B12, and that's going to... And then the alcohol is going to... And you're going to have this internal battle going on in your body. So I'm not sure if this is the right stuff to use, in all honesty. We'll do it in the name of science. Yeah. <laughs> Body's going to go ballistic. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it over to Stacy so she can fill you in on what you need to do to win our $30 Amazon gift card. Yes. So we are closing in on 300 subscribers. Less Hello, than Less than 50 needed to get to 300. So what we're going to do is you have to subscribe to the channel and um, comment on this video, Keto 300. Not to be mistaken with 3,000. Keto 300. But we'll have a Keto 3,000 someday. Hopefully. As long as you subscribe. Mm-hmm. So, once we hit 300 subscribers, We'll do a random drawing of everybody that commented Keto 300 and we'll announce it in the next video that we put out after 300 subscribers. <laughs> right. $30 gift card to Amazon. Yeah. So be prepared. You can buy one of these cookbooks. Be prepared to send us your email address. Absolutely. Uh, mailing address. Email address. Yeah, mailing. I guess we just email address because it's in a digital card, right? Yeah, makes sense. Sounds good. <laughs> so anyway, back to the cookbooks. <clears throat> so, uh, so Stacy and I, so I'm a very big fan of soup and stews. Uh, Stacy, when we first met, I don't think she had like one thing that she liked, super stew wise. And now she has so many. Um, I've browsed this. I haven't really gone through any detail yet on anything we should make. Um, <clears throat> not to say that it's a bad book or anything, but just FYI. Um, this is our very first book that we picked up from Matt and Mega over at Keto Connect. And uh, I think there's a lot of good stuff in this one as well. Uh, and again, real food, real people type situations. Um, because I think a lot of, so a lot of cookbooks that you're gonna find are gonna be more trying to be fancy, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and fancy is great when you're trying to impress someone, but when you're trying to feed your family, you can't eat fancy. You just need it's simple, something simple, something fairly easy to make. And so Matt Mega does a great job of kind of breaking it down for us with very simple recipes. Um, and they try to cover things like country fair donuts, um, certain mug cake recipes, you know, things to sort of help pe keep people who are adapting to this lifestyle keto. Uh, or fancy stuff with California wraps uh, using lunch meat. Um, they got something a little bit more in the lines of like a, a chicken salad, a caprice chicken salad. Um, so, then there's some Asian style dishes. Um, mm -hmm. So she's Indian. I think there's a couple Indian dishes in here as well. Like, yeah, there's a paneer. Yeah, paneer, which we paneer bought cheese. the paneer for and it's like there it is, the right sag, sag paneer. 
And we've bought the cheese. We have the spinach. I mean, we have everything for this. It's I don't just, think we have the spinach anymore. I think it went bad. It's frozen. Is it? Yeah. We bought it frozen from Trader Joe's. So, yeah, I mean, everything, we have everything for this. It's just we haven't made the time to do it. So, uh, sorry, Matt Mega. Um, but soon, soon. These other books, Stacy, I think these are the ones that you picked up. This one, this one I know we picked up at Costco, uh, which again mm -hmm. an early an early book because she she tabbed it up pretty good. Well, these have two we, we made got anything? At the same time. Have we made anything out of this I book? I don't know if we have yet. I mean, we definitely labeled some stuff. <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we wanted to try. So we'll we'll do a follow up video. We need to actually force ourselves to use some of these other recipes and, and kind of give a review on this book. Yeah, and when we first started, we were kind of trying a lot of different recipes, and then we just kind of got into a, a comfort zone. And well, Stacy got into a comfort zone, and I'm not going to stir the waters up because with her, because it, yeah, it just doesn't work. Like, hey, we're trying something unique tonight. Um, no, because I just want a one. chicken sandwich. I was the one that was saying, let's try all these new recipes. And you were like, no, let's only do one or two a week. Well, that's because she will, will make one and then she'll hate it and not eat or it'll just get wasted. Um, but she's getting better about it. So what else do we have? We talked about that, right? Yep. Yep. We, okay. So the Southern Keto one that we have, um, Natasha Newton, I have some things that are marked in here, but they're all dessert, of course. Um, <clears throat> the rest of the stuff is a little lackluster, I, I guess. I mean, yeah, it's it's this. I guess the, you could call this a real, real person, real food cookbook. It's not fancy enough for Daisy. It's just like, and there's stuff in here that I just, I mean, cheese crisps. Why is this in a cookbook? Well, because I mean, it's keto, right? But it's more about the process than it is about the recipe. I don't know, you zucchini know I mean? bread, egg muffins. Yeah. And there's just not a whole lot of stuff in here that interested me as far as food because I mean, there's a taco soup. We already know how to make a taco soup. Well, yeah, but that's the thing. With a lot of these cookbooks, a lot of the recipes that you're getting are... So there's some fundamentals with cooking. I did make those, the peanut butter chocolate chip cookie bars. Yeah, and they're good? They were okay, Nate liked them. That's good. So some of the fundamentals of cooking, you're going to be able to create a lot of these recipes <clears throat> yourself. So the challenge, of course, is things that aren't necessarily keto that you can buy in the store that you can make at home and make keto, right? Or mm -hmm. that you can really get an understanding of what the macros are. So that's why I think this book gets a lot of use for us because of those types of situations. Um, as far as uh, the restaurant favorites, I think we've made quite a few recipes out of this book, right? As you can see, it's very, very tagged. Um, and I think there's a lot of good stuff in here as well. And, and there's a lot of variety of things. So like there's a whole section just on Italian stuff, right? Um, there's a whole section just on seafood stuff. Um, there's a whole section just on Asian style cuisine. Um, and then there's a dessert section, right? So it'll walk you through everything from creating cauliflower fried rice to uh, making keto ketchup um, to, uh, yeah, I mean, the curry, there's some curry recipes in the back. So there's a lot of, it's a, it's a very broad category of books. And I think both of these do that, but they also give you some basics as well. So I think if you picked up either one of these, do you have a favorite? No, I'd really like to combine them into one, honestly. We just combined them into one. There you go. <laughs> so uh, both of these are fantastic. I like them both. Um, I refer. I find myself referring back to some of them. Um, not necessarily to refer to the recipe, but to refer to the maybe the, the technique of the process and like how to get things kind of going. So I think either one of these would be a huge win. Um, I think Matt and Megas are up there as well with Keto Connect. Um, I think all three of these would probably be good, but I would probably kind of steer towards <laughs> these two a bit more. Um, well, I think the Instant Pop one would be good for anybody that has one. Yeah, and you don't and have to necessarily have to have an Instant Pot to use this. Any pressure cooker would work. It's just the reason that it's Instant Pot is because of the fact that that's 
the exact instructions. But generally speaking, it's just gonna tell you to do high pressure or low pressure. Um, and if you Google the settings for your, uh, or look at the instruction manual for your pressure cooker, if it's an electric pressure cooker, um, you'll be able to basically say, hey, how do I do this with Instapot? So, um, like we use it, we have a Ninja Foodie and we, we can use this. Um, we just need to know if it's high pressure or low pressure or something like that. And the best part about using a pressure cooker um, is it's fairly forgiving. Mm -hmm. Just want to make sure you have enough liquid in there, otherwise um, you're going to have a bad mess. You're not going to like that. So some of our um, cookbooks are digital. This one, if you've been following us for a while, you'll know why I chose this one. It's the Ultimate Guide to Low Carb Baking. Um, this is from Primal Edge Health. Uh, the guy that runs it, this is actually his wife came up with this. Hmm. And it's $12.99 through their website. They do not sell through Amazon at all. Um, if you want the the hardcover copy of it, it's like forty some dollars, which I really prefer the hardcover That's or hard the actual physical for... book. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't want to pay that much for it. She hasn't got to the technology, guys. She has embraced it. She has it. She uses it. It hates her. She hates it back. I would just so much rather have a cookbook. So I can sit on a too. shelf. I'm more digital. <clears throat> I'd rather have the book. Anyway. But, so, this has real quick on that though, the uh, Primal Edge Health, isn't that, uh, they did a keto podcast, I think, with Matt They Megan, did do, yeah. And they're talking about the carnivore diet. Yeah, they did just so release does, a carnivore cookbook too. Okay, so that's something we'd, I, I would definitely be interested in. Um, yeah, that just came out within the last So you got a bunch of carnivores stuff. talking about baking stuff? Well, it's his wife did this. Oh, okay. So she wasn't a carnivore at the time she baked it. No, this is older. Okay. So she baked this up, pun intended, before she started to do the carnivore diet. Yeah, and I don't know if they're 100% carnivore. Yeah, was well, it the like, podcast the time, that I listened to? I think they were, but. They, yeah. you know, they have kids and their kids are keto. Oh, how so old are the kids, you know? They're real little. Okay. Like, maybe they only have one, I can't remember, but she's like maybe three, four. Gotcha. <clears throat> but yeah, so it's got a lot of like, let's see, it's got, um, tells you like how to bake like she kind of gives you the lowdown on baking with keto ingredients because it is a lot different as I have found from mm. baking with regular you know like regular all-purpose flour regular sugar you know these things it changes a lot especially if you're trying to sub out coconut flour um, right for Ratios your all-purpose flour because coconut flour is way more absorbent than regular flour so you have to up your liquids in your recipe you have to like increase the eggs and a bunch of other stuff it's just crazy um, so she talks about that and then she gives recipes for uh, bread stuff breakfast stuff um, muffins cookies um, treats and bars cakes and pies frostings and toppings so it's it's really you know i went through i read the beginning stuff like like a regular book right and then i found you know i got to the recipes and i was actually kind of impressed with some of the recipes um and i kind of took it and i was like you know i want to do that but i want to do my own take on it um so real quick did you um have you made any of those recipes i have not made anything out of this yet which one did you want to make first which one, have you picked one that you're gonna say I i'm gonna make not. this one i don't know but the thing that pisses me off is she's got cloud bread in here oh cloud bread like why why well i mean i mean cloud bread is everywhere it's just like that one that i said mm -hmm. why is there some people really it like is. it i think it's a love hate thing i think it's the same thing well, with with <laughs> the uh, alternative sugar options. It's just you either it, love it or hate it. It's something that is you can find it anywhere. I mean, you Google yeah. cloud bread and you come up with 30 recipes. Yeah, they're they're all a little different. And I, I you know, I paid money for this and I'm a little frustrated that I there's a recipe in there for cloud bread. For cloud bread. Well, I mean, it's I consistent. mean, everybody's I mean, got their own take on it, which is great. Maybe but she figured out a way to make it not taste like poop. <laughs> I don't know, but Either way, um, pancakes and stuff in there, right? Yeah, so. pancakes, crepes. There's a lot of scones. Yeah. Actually, that was something I think you wanted me to make you like. Yeah, I want some scones some for my scones coffee. Scones for coffee. Yeah. So I think that's what I was going to try to do first. Um, but it's a matter of just making the time to do something that's yeah. not related to the farmers market. Well, I mean, you're only doing it once a month. Oh wait, so and then 
the other ones i think we have the other ones on here Let so we also picked it. up matt and megan's fat bomb recipes and, and those things those things were great for keeping us like when we're just starting keto like when we were kind of needed a, a snack or something like that you know what i say it a snack so um keeping those so, uh, the yeah. fat bomb bible so fat bomb bible so those are great when we originally started um kind of just getting us into ketosis mostly um and helping us fill that craving snacking need and there's another one that we bought of theirs dinner yeah dinner and 30. 30 yeah so yeah and that kind of goes with like i was gonna mention that too uh so kydra dinner and 30. kydra is that i'm saying kendra? her name right kendra 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 so uh kendra has this 30 minute there it is this one right here so she has this 30 minute, and this one is pretty cool. I mean, you can do certain things in under 30 minutes uh, for dinner and stuff, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, not all dinner options, so like some appetizers. Yeah. Um, so you would think that you would, you would think that you would have a few more options, um, mostly dinners, but there are some, like you need a quick snack or something like that. So the nice thing about all of these is, is every single one will give you the macros. Yes, at the very bottom. And these are a general, yep. you know, macro number thing. Yep. Um, if you're really, really tracking your macros, you probably want to figure it out for yourself. Because I think there were a few very, that we've done things very, before very um, that have been slightly different. Had to take a small break to get our lilies. Yes. And my father was calling, so with my grandpa, kind of wanted to make sure I followed up. All right, well that's it for us today, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Click the bell so you get notifications whenever we post a new video. And as always, stay keto. See you in the next video. Jesus Christ, Lucy.